We all constantly feel like something is missing from our lives. Love, appreciation from colleagues, and of course, money. Many people think that if they had a couple extra million, everything would be different. And what if you win this money by doing nothing? Ooh, that's the dream. Today we are going to tell you about some lucky people who won a lot of money in the lottery. And you will find out how this money changed their lives. <laughs> Have you ever won the lottery? Evelyn Adams won it two times. Who knows, maybe she bought every ticket out there. But still, in total, she won $5.5 million. Adams' expenses increased exponentially. She spent some of the money wisely, for example, on her daughter's education. But unfortunately, most of Evelyn's winnings went down the drain. She was an <laughs> avid player. The more Evelyn lost, the more she wanted to win back, until she ended up with nothing. Now, Evelyn Adams lives in an old trailer on unemployment pay. She quit gambling, but too late. The next story is about Billy Bob Harold Jr. Billy Bob was a religious man, loved his family very much, and did his best to make them happy. Harold took any job there was, but they were still short on money. He always relied on his own strength and didn't really believe in luck. And then, boom, he won $31 million. It would seem he would never have a problem again. Life was finally good for him. He wanted to share his luck with everyone he knew and loved. He bought cars and houses for his family and friends. He donated tens of thousands of dollars to the church and gave money to the poor. Over time, his generous gifts attracted the attention of jealous people. Billy was constantly being called by strangers to demand donations from him. His family lived under pressure for two years. Billy was no longer happy with his fortune. The tension in his family made his life unbearable. Billy couldn't handle the pressure and killed himself. He confessed in a conversation with his financial advisor that winning the lottery was the worst thing that ever happened to him. Big money changes the lives of people. And if you don't know how to handle it, nothing good will come out of it. That's what happened to Jeffrey Dampier, another lucky guy who won $20 million in the lottery. A regular security guard, $20 million. This money drove Jeffrey over the edge, and things went south. He and his wife divorced, splitting the winnings 50-50. Jeffrey married another woman named Crystal Jackson. Together, they opened a gourmet popcorn shop. Jeffrey was always giving generous gifts to his wife's new relatives, especially her sisters. Crystal didn't like that. She knew that Jeffrey was having an affair with her younger sister, Victoria and she didn't want to share her husband and his money with anyone else. When Victoria stopped getting money from Jeffrey, she decided to punish him. In 2005, she kidnapped the millionaire with the help of a friend and shot him. The only motive for this crazy act was envy. Victoria and her friend were arrested and imprisoned for life. That didn't make Jeffrey feel any better. And last but not least, person who doesn't like gambling and doesn't even buy lottery tickets, Natalia Vlasova, an ordinary pensioner from Russia, as well as many others, was just looking for some luck, and she found it. She could not believe her own eyes when she saw how much she won, 506 million rubles, which is about 8.5 million dollars. Natalia Vlasova thought it was a good bonus to her pension, but as happens in such cases, with great money comes great responsibility and problems. Out of the blue, Natalia Vlasova got distant relatives, old acquaintances, forgotten friends, and even new neighbors. And when she started getting threatening text messages and phone calls, she had to move away from her village. The police took Natalia and her daughter under protection, but this did not stop the extortionists. Neither the official statements of the law enforcement agencies nor the good deeds of Natalia Vlasova. She sent part of the money to an orphanage, helped a fire victim's family by buying them an apartment and paying for the operation of their sick child. But people don't care. Everyone thinks that the pensioner has lots of money, lives in a mansion and has five cars. Hard not to envy her, right? Do you still want to win the lottery? Do you think everything will change for the best? 
Tell us in the comments what you would do with your winnings. Good luck, be happy, stay healthy. Give us a like, subscribe, and see you soon.